So we've been using the ISBE Solar Animal Repeller for my groundhog problem for a couple weeks now. I'm glad to report that it's still working. So the solar energy definitely works. It's been out here for about a month and a half now. And it seems that the ISBE Solar Animal Repeller has worked because I have not seen the groundhog around. At first I did see the groundhog once, but when the ISBE Solar Animal Repeller turned on, it seemed to have turned it away because I haven't seen it in a long time. So let's go take a look at the Solar Animal Repeller. So setting up the ISBE Solar Animal Repeller is pretty easy. It has two main knobs on the front. The left one is used for the sensitivity. So if you increase the sensitivity all the way up, it's gonna basically trip off at the slightest thing. It also adjusts the distance on the sensitivity. Frequencies are different frequencies. And what I mean by that is, if you have it on zero, it's off, by the way. But if you put it on one, and then two, three, four, and then five, you'll see that it has different types of frequencies going on. This is so that you could track down the frequency that will work with uh, repelling the animal that you want to repel. I found number two did it for the groundhog out there. In the manual itself, it tells you the different frequencies and what you should use to repel animals. Number one's for mice, rats, dogs, foxes, weasels. Number two is cats, raccoons, badger, skunks. And then number three is bats, birds, rodents. Number four is just to have an alarm and strong LED flashing to scare wild animals. And five is function together with mode one, two, and three, turn on strong flashing. So it has a lot of different settings. Now, even though this is solar, they do include a USB cable so that you can charge this out of the port back here which has weatherproofing right there but you just plug it right in there and you could charge the batteries that are inside this compartment uh, the batteries look to be replaceable so if after a number of years it doesn't work anymore with the solar panel just replace the batteries take the screws out and put them in and then finally the actual post that you put in the ground is made out of a metal sheathing which is nice to see it does have a plastic connector here but it, it lasted for a good couple months while it was out there for my groundhog problem so I have no problems with this actual post and if you are charging it with a USB device it's just gonna be red while it's charging well as you can see that's where the groundhog was going in my house you can see that there are a bunch of leaves so you can see that it hasn't been in that hole for quite a while and if you look up down there is the ISBE animal repeller right there. So let's go take a look at it. So right past this bush is where the animal repeller is. And that's it right there. I don't know if you can hear it. But that's what repels the animal. It also flashes a light. There's many different settings. I had to find the right setting for me. And the solar panel's right on top. It's worked great. And I haven't seen the groundhog since. So there you go. It's on again. So really highly customizable really works at least for me and yeah it's been a great buy other thing about the animal repeller is that I have a dog and I mean the dog has heard it but it hasn't been been going on and off all the time to bug the dog a lot so it's been a great product if you like to purchase your isby solar animal repeller please look for a link in the description below we'll send you to Amazon where you can purchase your very own every purchase will help support the Eric Day White channel we appreciate all your support if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that way we notify our future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate all your support. Thank you and have a great day. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at Eric. 5150 DIY at gmail.com. Have a great day.